I've played a lot uh, with Fallout 1 and 2 and 3 and uh, they are, uh, there is a lot of difference between those titles. Uh, what's the catch with New Vegas? Uh, is it more like Fallout 1 and 2 or like Fallout 3? Well, obviously in terms of gameplay, it's very similar to Fallout 3, but we hope in terms of its content, it uh, will feel a lot more similar to Fallout 1 and 2, mostly because we have several members of our team who worked on the original games. Uh, I worked on Van Buren back at Black Isle, and so we like to deal with a lot of the themes and the moral ambiguity that were present in Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. So organizations like the New California Republic are very interesting to explore, very complex. Groups like Caesar's Legion that we brought in uh, are very interesting as well, and we're hoping that players find that the way in which we develop characters and groups and the way in which we present choices to the player uh, have the feeling that uh, the first two games had. So can we say that it's more uh, RPG uh, than uh, Fallout 3? I don't know if I'd necessarily say that, but I do think that the way that Obsidian makes RPGs, uh, we do really like to emphasize how choices should be difficult, um, meaning that if you give a person a choice between good and evil, it's usually a very simple choice for them. They know, they know what they want to be and they know exactly what they want to do and they'll probably make that same choice throughout the game. We're hopeful that with the way we present problems to the player in Fallout New Vegas, uh, the situations will be a little more ambiguous. It'll be a little more difficult to decide what characters and groups you want to support because they change over time. You're, the way in which you ver uh, view them uh, can, can change and we hope that that sense of ambiguity is appealing to a lot of players. What about the setting? Is this uh, later or sooner than uh, the original games? It is set four years after the end of Fallout 3. Um, it doesn't have a lot of connection to the characters or the organizations of Fallout 3. It's mostly dealing with events that happened. It's, it's set 40 years after the end of Fallout 2, and so it's really about what's happened on the West Coast with groups like NCR, the Western Brotherhood of Steel, uh, and organizations like that over time. Okay. Uh, uh, don't you think, or uh, don't you have a fear that uh, uh, with Fallout 3 and the lots of DLC and stuff, um, there was a, a bit of too much Fallout <laughs> lately, and uh, um, uh, that not that we get bored, but maybe we uh, uh, we'd like to have new things in a new Fallout title. Well, I mean, that's why we changed the setting. I mean, that's, that's really one of the things is we knew that we weren't changing the engine radically. We were just adding new gameplay features. Uh, but we knew that if we changed the setting and we really focused on a new area, new organizations and things like that, uh, we're hopeful that people will not, you know, they won't be bored with it. They'll be like, oh, okay, this is a, this is a new area, new groups. Uh, for veteran players who played Fallout 1 and 2, uh, we hope that uh, us using those early organizations and some of the old characters like Marcus will appeal to them and they'll want to check it out. Do you plan to make so much DLC as uh, that was the case for Fallout 3? Well, it's really up to Bethesda. Um, we'd like to continue working on the Fallout franchise and DLC would be a good fit. Uh, it's very easy to create content using Bethesda's tools, so we'd like to, we'd like to work on it, but ultimately it's up to Bethesda. Okay, um, uh, we all knew that uh, there's a, uh, an MMORPG uh, in the making. Uh, but uh, we are not sure that uh, it will be actually made. Um, do you plan to, to make um, an MMORPG or some elements uh, or add-ons or DLC which could uh, reinforce the multiplayer aspect? Or is there any multiplayer in the game? No, there's no multiplayer in the game. Uh, to make those sort of changes in the engine would be pretty extensive. Really, we view um, not to say that multiplayer can't work in a Fallout game, but we think of Fallout as primarily being a single player experience about one player, one character, their companions, and how, how that one character has an effect on the world. So I think, I think there are cool ideas for multiplayer uh, Fallout games or for uh, Fallout MMO, but it's not something we've really explored. Uh, uh, who are the key members uh, of the old Fallout team who are working on New Vegas? I mean, for Fallout uh, two and uh, one and two. 
Uh, Chris Avalone, who worked on Fallout 2, he's most known for working on New Reno. Uh, he's a senior designer on the project. He, he wrote a couple of the companions and has been pretty instrumental in helping the project get finished. Also, uh, Brian Menzi, who did most of the Vault Boys for Fallout 2. He's done all the Vault Boys and all the concept art for Fallout New Vegas. Scott Everts is our lead world builder. Scott Everts built... I think he built maybe all the maps for Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, so he's very, very experienced with the franchise. Um, and uh, I worked, I didn't work on Fallout 1 or 2, but I worked on Van Buren at Black Isle. Uh, and then, of course, our division director, or not our division director, but uh, our CEO, Fergus Urquhart, was the division director of Black Isle for Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Okay, thank you very much. My last question is when the game will be out and on which platforms? Uh, it'll be out on the PC, the PS3, and the Xbox 360 on October 19th in North America and October 22nd in the rest of the world. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.